will be. Heaven knows, but I'll, uh, I'll try to be back in two weeks. I don't know whether you will do that, knowing that I'll be back in two weeks, but I'm going to get going. Um, let's see. My, my uh, wife is a big Donald Trump fan, so when she heard that Ted Cruz did not endorse Donald Trump, she got mad at Ted Cruz. So she saw him on TV recently and said, there's that ass, Ted Cruz. And I said, no. He's a Republican. He's not an ass. He's an elephant. And uh, some Russians were some Russians were allowed on the Olympics, and um, some of these Russians passed the uh, drug test with uh, straight as an arrow. So they al were allowed to be on the archery team for the Olympics. And and the Democratic National Committee gave Hillary Clinton a seven. Point ounce, uh, a seven-point bounce in the polls, and I think that's because they had a basketball player named Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who gave an endorsement speech for um, Hillary Clinton. So I'm um, trying to rebound after telling that joke. Okay, um, I was going to a movie called The Legend of Tarzan, but I heard through the grapevine, grapevine that it was a really lousy movie. So it's a real jungle out there trying to see a good movie to see, I mean, to, to view. How did Tarzan develop his jungle cry? Ah! And the answer is, he jumped from a tree and landed on the wrong end of a rhinoceros. So that was an uplifting experience for Tarzan. Why did Tarzan never marry Jane? Because when he found that she was a, a flight attendant on the aircraft, he decided that he was never going to marry a plain Jane. So that they'd have a good landing. A guy comes into a Dunkin' Donuts with a slab of asphalt on his armpit, and um, he says to the clerk, I'll have one black coffee and one for the road. Uh, oh. Okay, let's see. What do people usually do when they have a shell allergy? They go to Exxon instead. <laughs> a very bright 10-year-old Indian girl goes up to her father and says, Daddy, why do you name my older sister Weeping Will? And he says, because when my, your mother and I, when we make you, we're in a beautiful field of flowers. Then she says, why you name my older brother running water? Because when we make you, we're near a stream. And then he looks at it and he says, two intercourse and dogs, why you ask so many questions? <laughs> okay, so that's the climax of that joke. And who are the people who usually order beats when dining? And the answer is drummers. <laughs> what is the city in France that is a major tourist attraction for uncles? Nice, France. Oh. <laughs> and in a parochial school, my sister was taught, my sister was in the 10th grade and she was talking to a lot of other girls and an, and an elderly nun walks in and says, okay, no more intercourse, so all the girls ended up laughing more so. And unlike yourself, and I don't blame you, I didn't laugh at that when I read it to myself. <laughs> I saw an ad on TV for a single value pack of Viagra, and I said, why don't they make a similar pack for married men? Okay, so I'm really stretching your patience when I tell that one. The boss makes an emergency call to an employee at night and said, could you please come in? We have an emergency. And he said, no, my wife and I are having a baby. So the next day, the boss sees the employee and said, what is it, a boy or a girl? And he says, we won't know for another nine months. So I won't, I won't belabor the point. Why did Mrs. Kong never divorce King Kong? because he was a beast in bed. <laughs> An Italian goes into a bank and approaches the teller and says, I would like to speak to someone about a loan. And the teller says, the loan arranger is out to lunch. And, they, um, and then the uh, 
Italian says to him, well, let me speak to Tonto then. <laughs> okay, not too loud, not too loud. The, the, the pause is deafening. What, what, um, what should a young man or woman do when they are hot and bothered? Go back to their apartment, turn on the air conditioning, and forgive the person who offended them. <laughs> You are hot and bothered right now, so I hope they turn up the air conditioning here. Where do elderly chickens usually end up? In the old yolks home. So there's plenty to squawk about with that joke. The main ingredient in Prevagen is a brain supplement, and it is an ingredient found in a jellyfish. So one of the side effects of that medicine is if you take a swim, you're gonna find yourself in a jam, just like you are right now. And how do we know that sheep don't have arms? And the answer is, when you go into a Greek restaurant, you always see on the menu, leg of lamb, never arm of lamb. And you're up in arms when I told that one, but so what though? Um, who are the men who are most likely to duck when they enter the water. Men whose first name is Donald. So that's what you call a Mickey Mouse joke. Oh, Who was the last person to box the heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey? The Undertaker. Oh. Don't worry, I'll be boxed someday myself, so you won't have to hear this someday in the future. What do you call a residence where all the inhabitants are weary? A warehouse. Who are the only animals that don't have to worry about putting on their pajamas before they go to bed at night? Zebras. And okay, Tom, you're, too, you're applauding too much. Um, I'm a Christian, so I've been told that I should pray for my enemies. So every night I pray for them that they will receive the punishment they so richly deserve. And let's see, the last one, hallelujah you're saying, okay? Um, by the way, Trigger the Hoss died at 33 years old, and Roy Rogers died at 98. But when Trigger died, Roy Rogers decided to have him stuffed and put into a museum in a rearing position, you know, with his paws up there. And Burt Reynolds was a close friend of Roy, uh, Roy Rogers, and he said if it was up to Roy Rogers, he would have been stuffed too and put in the saddle of Trigger with the background music back in the saddle again. Okay, so uh, by the way, if you've enjoyed the suffering and know anybody in Wakefield, I'll be at the, um, I'll be at the Clarion Inn tomorrow night, Route 28, 128 South, exit 39, and it starts at seven o'clock. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for your attention, and I hope you have a good evening, despite what you've gone through. Thank you.